Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have an Asus computer here, and I'm going to show you how to fix the problem of it giving you uh, a no-boot device error or no-bootable device found. Any sort of error like that that's saying it's trying to boot up, but it can't find anything to boot off of. I'm going to show you how to fix that in this video. Uh, right away, real quick, there are a couple things you could try that will help about 15-20% of you. Um, the first thing is unplug any external devices, any flash drives or, or CDs. Unplug anything external from your computer. What could be happening is that it could be getting confused and trying to boot off of these devices. So take those out, try to restart your computer. Uh, another quick thing you can try is go at your hard drive. There'll be a video link below in the description of how to access a hard drive on an ASUS for those of you that don't know how. Um, get at the hard drive and then reseat it. What that means is you unplug it and then you plug it back in making sure that it's a secure, correct connection and then you try to boot up again. Sometimes a hard drive get, gets loose. Maybe you hit your computer or, or it falls. So sometimes it just gets loose and gives you that error. But if those two quick things don't help, I'm gonna show you how to get into BIOS now and change some settings in there and hopefully we'll fix it that way. So to get into BIOS on most ASUS laptops, you hit power and then start tapping on F2. If F2 doesn't work for you, try F1. And if neither work, try your other function keys or try Googling your specific model. Sometimes ASUS switches it up, which function key it, it uses. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but for my ASUS and most of yours, it's F2. So power, start tapping on F2 right away. And there's your BIOS menu. If your BIOS doesn't look exactly like mine, that's okay. Uh, it does change based on year of the computer and, and model. Uh, but all the information we need will be here. So the first thing you're looking for is system date and time, which usually is on your main tab like it is here. Uh, if your system date and time is wrong, correct it, save and exit, try rebooting your computer. If the system and date settings in BIOS is wrong, it can cause all sorts of issues booting up your computer. Uh, so make sure those settings are correct. If you find that they're always wrong and you have to do this every time you load your computer, it could mean that your CMOS battery is going bad and your BIOS is resetting every time you shut your computer down. If that's your case, check out the link below in the description, the BIOS reset link. That'll show you how to get in there and swap out and replace that CMOS battery so you don't have to do this every time. If that doesn't help, there's a couple other settings that we can change in BIOS. The next settings we're going to change have to do with your legacy or CSM or your UEFI settings. Now you may have to look around a little bit like we did before, but it's usually going to be in your boot tab. So I'm going to arrow over to boot and there it is UEFI. And again, we're looking for UEFI, legacy or CSM. Uh, legacy and CSM are kind of the same thing, but basically what we're doing here is we're switching between them. So if you're like me and you see UEFI, you're changing to legacy or CSM. And if you see legacy or CSM here, you're changing to UEFI. Now the way to do this will vary um, in different BIOS systems, but with me, I, I highlight it, I hit enter, and UEFI is enabled, I'm gonna disable it, hit enter. And now I've disabled UEFI. Some of you may have drop down menus where you select legacy or, or CSM, but however you can change it, change it. Some of you, if you're unable to change to legacy, it could be because you have to change a couple other settings. The computer sometimes doesn't like us changing to legacy. So sometimes you may have to go into your security tab and disable secure boot. Um, and then some of you may also do a second step and enable the legacy boot option. So however you have to do it, change between those two, um, save and exit, and restart your computer. If this fixes your computer, we've identified BIOS as the issue. If this doesn't fix your computer, now we need to move on and diagnose your hardware or, or your hard drive or your operating system. In my shop, I would then use diagnostic software that I have to diagnose the hard drive whether it's healthy or not. You don't have that, and ASUS does not have built-in diagnostic software. So we're going to test for the hard drive and the operating system kind of at the same time. At this point, if it's not working, then we're going to try to reinstall Windows. Use the video link below in the description. It'll show you how to download install media from Microsoft for free. You can use that to reinstall Windows fresh. If you install it and it works fine, you've identified the operating system as the problem and you fixed it. 
If that doesn't work and it keeps erroring out or it won't install correctly, then we've identified most likely your hard drive as the problem. Uh, there'll be another link below in the description on how to install a new hard drive into an ASUS computer. And then obviously once you've installed that hard drive, you need to put the operating system on it anyway. Uh, if you have any questions, if you see something that I may not have shown you, um, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. Uh, save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see your question there, leave me a comment. I do try to get back to you guys a few times a day at least. Uh, so if this is helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys.